What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. So you might remember about a week or two ago I posted that I bought a pair of football boots on the 2nd of March 2020 and they arrived 471 days later. I could not believe it. This is the package. It came, I knew straight away, this is from China. I haven't ordered anything and it felt like shoes and I was like, what? Like someone must have sent something to me by mistake. I don't know. But anyway, I opened them up and quickly realized that it was these boots that I ordered nearly two years ago, a year and a half ago. And I had been refunded the money and all. So these, like I was, I was not expecting them to come. They're the Copa um, laces and they do feel really, really good. So. They do on the outside definitely feel good. They look really good quality. Um, personally, you wouldn't really notice the difference. All the detail in this looks pretty much as you would expect um, any Copa to look like. But I'm gonna go and get my other Copa boots that are real, just to see what kind of differences we might spot. So let's go. got the copas that are real um, and here they are so of course they are the point ones they have laces um, and already you can feel a difference in material this is leather I think it's K leather and already this does feel good definitely feels good but these feel better much softer um, and you can definitely tell that that is a much better material not too much of a difference but if you are like me and you know your boots and you know what feels good, you could definitely tell that it's not the softest of leather. If it's leather at all, which it probably isn't. Then we look at the sole plate. So firstly, I feel that this sole plate, it has a slight curve, just you know, for the natural position of the foot when you're running and stuff, you do see a slight curve here. Whereas on the fake boots, I feel like this has a bigger curve here at the front if you can notice that I feel like it goes up just the slightest bit more and um, it kind of looks like a banana shape and it doesn't look um, like it's got that much mobility in it it looks pretty stiff and um, bending it like that that way obviously is easier but it does feel a little bit stiff whereas this one and um, you've got a little bit of extra movement it doesn't feel as heavy and hard this feels really really hard on the bottom Okay, so around the ankle, you've got kind of a mesh material, which actually feels pretty soft. Definitely feels nice and soft here. And on this one, again, feels very soft. It does feel um, perfect. Give it a bit of a stretch there. So yeah, that impresses me. You definitely wouldn't really tell the difference there. It's got a bit of padding also on the sides to protect the ankle. But yeah, feels, feels good, like as a first impression definitely looks good there's no bad stitching there's no weird blotchy glue marks or anything like that and the sole plate does look really good although i said it's a little bit harder it says the fusion skin there if you can see that does it say it here the fusion skin is actually up here on the boot if you can see i'll try and move it around a little bit so it says fusion skin here and on the fake boot it says it here now of course they're two kind of different um models of the copa so that could be the reason why and um, unfortunately i don't have a laceless one to to kind of pick and have a look at um but yeah other than that everything does look pretty much the same all right let's check the length of the studs so yeah like they definitely don't even match up look at that right I'm gonna push them. The back ones, they don't seem level, um, but they don't reach each other. They're kind of in the same position, but they don't match that much. Okay, so on the back, there's a little bit of a difference here. And um, you've got a nice rounded top, and obviously where it says Copa, um, it feels good, it looks good, the finish is, is quality. And then on this one, um, it feels a little bit like a sticker. Um, you don't, I don't know if that would come off. There's a bit of a stray thread here, if you can see that. 
um, and then of course on the top it's not rounded off nicely and um, as it is there and of course there's stitching on the top of this one here to keep it locked and um, whereas there isn't any stitching on that bit except inside which is why the thread is coming through there and um, so yeah it's just little details like that that aren't and um, you know if you're looking very closely you'll notice but of course you wouldn't really notice it from the start my phone is ringing hang on three hours later also i just want to point out the reason i bought these fake boots is not because i want to wear them and and you know i buy fake stuff it's just because i wanted to review these i've seen them on aliexpress a lot i've seen people and um, promoting fake football boots and to be honest it's not something that i would be personally interested in i wanted to see what they feel like and look like and is it worth the money because a lot of the times when you buy fake stuff you know what they say buy cheap buy twice so i wanted to see how these would hold up as opposed to the real ones and if there's any dangers in wearing fake boots because of course you're paying good money for the real ones and you would hope that they don't hurt you or you know you don't get injured from wearing these these are made cheaply with lesser materials and you have more chance of risking injury so i want to put that to the test and that is why i bought these fake boots that i never even expected to arrive because after 471 days i completely gave up on these got the refund and i just found it very very strange but it's funny and we're here we're here now so i get to do the review very very late like when i bought these these were new these had just come out and then yeah they're like basically old shit now anyway guys i'm gonna bring these out to the garden and have a little kick about with them and see how they feel on foot let's go outside try these babies on guys so after kicking these about in the garden i was pleasantly surprised the upper actually felt really good on the ball kicking felt perfect there was no comfort issues they were very easy to get on which is funny because laceless boots sometimes can be an absolute nightmare to put on these literally just slipped right in and um, the only thing i would say about fake boots like this is the insole is terrible and um, it's very hard it doesn't have that kind of lockdown effect so if you put your foot in and um, you definitely need to double sock it and have other things in there like grip socks and um, because you will feel that your foot is kind of sliding around in there whereas if you're wearing a proper copa or any other boot whether it be nike adidas new balance they always have really good insoles that fit perfectly that have a shape to the sole whereas this one to be honest i don't feel that it has any any kind of shape it does have a cushion in where the heel would be and um, but other than that the inside doesn't feel very comfortable when you think about it you're paying for one of these um the copa 19 plus you would be paying 220 quid 200 220 euro um which is a lot of money so for 35 euro they're actually not that bad but again you risk getting injured you risk rolling over on your ankle much more than you would in a real pair of boots so bear that in mind if you are ever going to test out a pair of fake boots and um, i wouldn't really i wouldn't really recommend it because the chances of you getting injured are much higher 
than if you were just wearing a normal pair of Adidas or Nike boots. I'm one of those footballers that I really do prefer the top tier boots. I'd be more inclined to buy um, a reduced uh, 19 plus or a 19.1 than a 19.3 and it's not because I'm a boot snob or anything but I do really think that it's very important to have a good pair of boots with a good upper good interior also that your foot is comfortable um, and especially not having to have a break in time and um, I think if boots take a long time to break in sometimes you have a pair of boots that are your go-to and they feel so good and then you go and buy a new pair of boots because you need a new pair and then it takes so long and they just don't feel like your older boots feel like. That's that's a big no-no for me when buying boots. So um, it's important to, you know, invest a bit of money in and actually buy a good pair. Anyway guys, all in all, this review, there's been pluses, there's been negatives. But all in all, I actually don't think they are that bad. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Do you think they look good? For me, out of five... I will definitely give them a 3.5 out of 5 in terms of comfort because they actually didn't feel bad and um, but it would just be something to keep an eye on that they would not probably feel that good after a full match you might be slipping around you might get blisters because of the lack of a lockdown but just out there in the garden they did feel good especially kicking up uh, doing a few keepy uppies and stuff the cushion was really good so yeah I'd say a 3.5 out of 5 and as well to look at they really do look good and they don't look fake from the first look they've got lovely lovely detail in it the shine and um, even on foot when I looked down I was like wow they look really good especially in the sun and um, but the only thing would be the insole and the hard and um, the hard sole plate which it doesn't really have too much movement unless of course you do this but other than that I actually enjoyed wearing these and um, but I might do another another review I might wear them for training or a match if I'm risk gonna risk it and see how they feel but keep an eye out for more videos like this and if you did enjoy it please drop a like hit subscribe and I will see you for the next one thanks for watching